Shalom and welcome once again to Treasures of the Torah. I'm Moray Matan, Pastor Matt McEwen, and this week our Torah portion is Kitavo. Once again, we are in this commentary series called The Wellspring of Torah, and this week we have an amazing comment by the Chida. And it says here in chapter 26 and verse 2 of our Torah portion, that you shall take the first fruit of all the fruit of the ground which you bring from your land, which Hashem, your God, gives you. Now, this word take, this verb take in this verse is very interesting. And according to our commentator, it, it has a special meaning. Have you ever thought that it is a privilege to give gifts to Hashem? Because it is. Do we look at that as taking an opportunity to receive the pleasure that Hashem feels when we give to him a gift? This is interesting. Because when we go to philosophy classes or psychology classes, sometimes we are taught about the, um, the myth of something that is truly done for kindness's sake. We learn about the concept of altruism, and is it a myth that something can be truly altruistic? In other words, can I truly do something for someone else even though I get no benefit from it? Because you see, what scientists will tell us, social scientists and psychologists will tell us, is that if I give you a gift, I derive pleasure from giving that gift because I know that you receive it. And it makes me feel good to give it because of the appreciation that you give. But whether or not that actually exists of, of true altruism, I'm going to ask a different question. Does it really matter? And here's why I ask this. Let's, let's look at our comment here. In the Gemara, in Tractate Kedushin 7, it says that if someone important accepts a gift, it is if the important person had given a present to the giver because of the pleasure the acceptance of the gift affords the giver by accepting the present. The Torah uses the verb take in this sense with reference to offering the first fruits. It implies that those making the offering thereby take or accept from God a gift in the form of the pleasure afforded by the privilege of being allowed to offer up the first fruits of their harvest. I think this is a beautiful thought. This idea of us feeling good about being able to follow a mitzvah of giving our best and our first to Hashem, but also for us to feel that loving acceptance of that gift, to feel the, the pleasure of the Almighty that that, uh, that he has for that obedience. Now, does God need anything from us? Of course not. It all belongs to him anyway. But I love the idea that the Almighty God, the Mighty One of Israel, is pleased when we do the right thing, when we follow his commands, when we give a gift because he has told us to do it. And then we derive pleasure knowing that we have pleased our Heavenly Father. And so it's almost like although we are giving a gift, we're receiving a gift from him in the form of that feeling we get knowing that we have fulfilled a mitzvah. I think this is a wonderful way to look at it. And I don't think that this should be a deterrent to do mitzvot. We shouldn't say, well, I'm just doing this because I know it's going to make the Lord happy. What's wrong with that? I think it's a wonderful way for us to remember, and, and might I say, a wonderful way for us to teach our children that our Father is pleased when we do those things that he commands us to do. Shouldn't we show our pleasure in our children when they do those things that we've asked them to do? I think this is a wonderful way for our kids and our grandkids, the young people around us, to see an object lesson of our relationship with the Almighty God by seeing how proud we can be when they do the right thing, when they clean their room or, or uh, do, do some work in the lawn or, or whatever it is, do their homework, make their bed, uh, wash the dishes, and anything like that. We can show them how proud we are and what pleasure we derive from them obeying us. And I, I think that's just a wonderful thing. I'm reminded of that scripture where the, the Lord was heard to say, this is my beloved son about Yeshua, and it's in him that I am pleased. I, 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 do, I have such pleasure in him uh, because he is my beloved son.
I think the same needs to be true of us. Let us please our Heavenly Father and let us be happy and let us be pleased that we are doing the right things, that we are being obedient, and that we are doing it with the right spirit and in the right kavanah. I hope this has been a blessing to you, and I pray that you would find joy and that you would derive pleasure and benefit from following those things that the Lord has prepared for us to do. I want to wish you all of God's best this weekend to you and your family. Shabbat Shalom.